First, sorry for my bad English, but I'm gonna show you a supermarket in Mexico. In this supermarket, there are a lot of tiny stores around, but I'm gonna show you only the big store. We are in COVID time, so we need to pass the health protocols to go in. Like you can see, there are many, many departments to see, but I'm gonna show you the most interesting ones. I'm gonna avoid the technology one because I think it's the same around the world. In Mexico, every unhealthy product had warming stamps. For example, this one has excess of calories, excess of fat, and excess of sodium. Tuna cans don't have these cells. These salty cookies has two stamps. But this one has only one stamp, so it's more healthy, but it's still not healthy, you understand? In Nayarit, state of Mexico, we have this sauce that is very very popular and we love it so much. They have only one stamp. This is just a section about products that you can use when you go to the beach, because we have the beach very near here. This is just another look about this store. Uh, it's nothing special, just some bags and etc. So you can see how it looks like. In this season, we found tomatoes very, very cheap, only six pesos. Look at that. But this season, bananas are more expensive than usual. These are guayabas, one of my favorite foods, but I don't gonna buy it because we have money trees. And these are the prices of mango fruit, the price of aguacates, and the price of potatoes and onions because they are veggies that exist around the world grapefruit is one of my favorites especially drinking tequila or mezcal these are tamarindos we make many products with this and cinnamon is very popular here also that unrefined sugar is very common and we found a variety of cactus real cactus for your home And a lot, a lot of many kinds of plastic products and pots for your kitchen. And yes, that is me making the shopping. This is a section where we can find the ice cream. I don't eat too much ice cream because it has a lot of sugar, but there is a lot of varieties and flavors. And yes, you can buy tarts and products for your car or buy small bicycles for your kids and this is a small section, it's not big but we can find products for gym, for training, for make exercise, boxing and etc. And yes, we are gonna find a lot of plastic products everywhere every, everywhere, anywhere, anywhere in Mexico, some products are not in the section, but it's just for call attention. These are Mexican traditional dishes for eat pozole or drink cafe or atole. I know that Asians don't use this much, but these are the sodorants or something like that, and we use it a lot because we stink a lot here in this part of the world. And these are some products for clean your body, your butt hole, or whatever you want. You, you need to scratch a lot your skin, and they are more products like soaps for your body, shampoos, and etc. We have a lot of varieties. There are many, many varieties of teeth brush, but I like the simple and cheap ones because it's almost the same, and the price is not the same. I always search for the cheapest soap for my body because it's just the same. This is a hair product that I used when I was young. You have many varieties of blades for shape your beard or whatever you want, or your balls, your pussy, whatever you want. Just if you ask about it, this is a big section of male desodorant. I also buy the cost to benefit one, always, the more product to the less price. And this is a section of many varieties of body cream. And products for menstruation for girls. There is a drugstore inside that also sells something beauty products and many not drugs products. 
And here we go to the laundry products. I don't use it too much, but they are products for keep your bathroom clean or where do you shit, keep it clean. This is a very common product for clean dishes. We use it a lot. Maybe I can make another video about this, but Mexicans usually love to keep the shoes very very clean and shiny. We have many products. For example, this pumpkin soap that we use it for clean the skin of shoes. And for shiny black shoes we use creams like this one. There are many brands. I guess Mexicans love to use candles with saints because Catholic religion. La Virgen de Guadalupe and San Judas Tadeo. I guess we got many insects here in tropical areas, so we have many products for control that shit. And this is the soap that you can use in your washing machine. This is m the most common brand. But since another brand, I think this one is from Germany, I am not sure, but still. But most of Mexicans use this soap for make the laundry by hand. But personally, I like this brand. Yes, and this is the section for paper, toilet paper, for clean your body, your mouth, etc. This is a small section of pizza food for cats and dogs most of the time. And these are the most popular brand of dog food. But it's, it's another, of course. Yeah, many varieties of dog food, but I don't usually give them to Pipucho because, not sure, I like to give him homemade food or another ones, and also there is a lot of snacks for pets, snacks for dogs, and toys for dogs, many products that Pipucho we never use, he only like to play with the balls and he also have balls, but we always come here and buy some biscuit. It's not usually, but sometimes I do it. I buy these ones for Pipucho, like a treat, for example, of we, when we are eating, we give them. Yeah, and many products for control the ticks and fleas or something like that. I hope you understand me, please. The funny shit about this is the dog's deepers or diapers and clothes for dogs that don't need to use for me. Yeah, Chayito love to use security matches, so we're gonna buy some. This is just a look of the Sia Food section. In supermarkets, the Sia Food is not the best. I like more the traditional markets of Sia Food or another specialist stores than this, but we can find this. For example, uh, frozen fishes that have no idea what is it, but Fish is one of my favorite foods and also some industrialized products of sea food. And this is the meat or cow meat, cow, I don't know who to, cow, beef, sorry, beef, yes, this is the beef section, pork beef or pork meat, I hope you understand me, please, it's my bad English, but this is the section of that you can find many varieties or use it to buy the frozen ones. For example, this pork is very very cheap here. This is chorizo. I love this, but I hate that red sausages that looks that has anything but not meat. Okay, this is chicken. Just just normal chicken, cheap in Mexico, and we're gonna buy one already. There is a product that we gonna buy. And also, I'm gonna buy molleja de pollo, I mean, the, like the stomach of chicken for pipucho. And look at that. Yes, and the most common brands of chocolate, I like this one. It's very, very deeper, but very, very good for cooking. And we have many, many varieties of chocolate that you can see of the most common brands in the world of chocolate that you can see here. Many brands. And for example, this that has two stamps, so it's not healthy, but it's good. And we have a big section of oil for kitchen, you know, vegetable oil, oil, sorry, okay. We use it too much here in Mexico. We have a large varieties and also the 
sorry, the, the jam. This is a apple jam with cinnamon and you know, sort of some more. I don't know who to say it in English, but it's just some berries. And we have a many varieties of many brands and peanut butter. Yes, we have many brands of peanut butters, the most common in the world and the Mexican ones. We have many varieties here, like you can see. And this one has three stamps, so it is not healthy. You should avoid to eat it too much. And also, I find this. I love to try this, but it's so expensive for me. It's like maple syrup from Canada. And we have honeybee syrup, real honeybee and fake honeybee. Most of them are fake honeybee and fake maple syrup. And this is the product that is hard to me explain it in English, but it's the product we, we can make tortillas at home. You can buy that and make tortillas at home, but most of the time we not do that. We already buy it in tortillerias, you know, machine tortillas. This is very popular here in Mexico for give flavor to the food, but it's still a little bit unhealthy. I don't know what happened in your country, but we uh, have a big section of underwear. Women spend money, money in products like this one for make it beauty or something like that. There are large varieties of female underwears, for example, these ones or these ones for your grandmother or something like that. Mexicans love to eat pasta, so we have many brands of pasta sauces, you know, industrialism that is not unhealthy because has two stamps, but also I like to make it at home, not buy it like that, but we have many varieties of pasta that are sometimes expensive, sometimes not, but the most common are the green ones. Ah, uh, frijol pinto, yeah, we love to eat frijol pinto, it's the cheaper one. But also black beans are very very good. And this is the most expensive one, the Peruvian beans. And also leggies. I love to eat leggies, so we buy this always. And there is the section of rice. I love to make rice and we have many varieties here. Many many varieties of rice. For example, this is the, the red one is the cheaper one and this is the most expensive one that is like organic and some fashion uh, rice that has many weird shit that I don't find goes wherever and also we find beans, fried beans in cans in Mexico many Mexicans buy it and use it but in cities in my city people are still using it but it's most popular that Mexicans make it at home or buy it like make it by another Mexican at home. I hope you understand. Homemade. And look at that. This is a section of Asian products. I love that ones. Transparent videos and also the products that you need to use the to make the sushi or etc. We are not experts in Asian food, but we have many soy sauces here, like you can see many Asian sauces, and also I like to make Chinese food, but I am not good, you know, I make Chinese food with the things that I find. And for example, this is our species, the species bottles of many, many large varieties of species, oh my god. What can I say? But the most common <laughs> for give flavor to the rice, for the pots, for whatever you want, is this one, this brand. It's very common here in Mexico to give flavor to the food in many creativity. Uh, this is the mole, very popular here in Mexico. I'm gonna show you. And many, many species, species and products. The ketchup in Mexico is not healthy, like you can see, the ha he have two stamps. In the past, I love it so much, and especially that brand, but actually I don't eat too much these products. Mustard has one stamp, 
and we have many many varieties of hot sauces or tomato sauces that we eat it a lot. For example, this one is very special because it's powder, it's sauce in powder that we use it in the fruit. Uh, just like this one, we put that powder in watermelon for example, that you can see there, a little bit of salt and lemon juice, lemon juice. This is very very common here in Mexico to eat. And of course, many varieties of hot peppers or chili in cans. And also, many many varieties of mayonnaise. Have no idea. I don't eat it too much, but maybe because I am weird Mexican, but most of Mexicans love to eat mayonnaise. Look at that. We have many varieties of mayonnaise that you can see, but this have three stamps, so it's not healthy. Oh, this one, this is nitztamal in cans. People use it for make pozole and these are uh, sardines. I love to eat sardines too, especially this brand. This is my favorite brand. And Oreo, Oreo cookies that has two stamps. Two stamps, so it's not healthy. And we have many varieties of rice cookies that usually people think that are healthy, but it's not really healthy. The brands shed you. They are not healthy. They are two stamps, excess of calories and sodium. And also the sweet bread is very common in Mexican and popular. It's not healthy, has three stamps, but is very popular, especially this bimbo brand is very very consumed here in Mexico and maybe around the world that you can see. There are gancitos, very popular. But the beauty about this is that they are bread that is not unhealthy, for example this one, that we use it for make sandwich. But another uh, Italian uh, brands, I think it's, they are Italian, I am not sure, but it has many, many, many unhealthy situation, I don't know how to say it, many sugars and calories like you can see. But they are still very common here in Mexico. We have money, a large, a big body of this. But the bread for food, for the supper, for hot dogs, or for make sandwich, don't have stamps. So that means that for the government of Mexico is healthy to eat it. But the toasted bread is not healthy. Look at that and the choco chips is unhealthy and this is the most common brand of cookies in Mexico we have vanilla, the yellow ones, the chocolate ones and the combinat that you can see and also the lemon flavor this brand is very popular here in Mexico of cookies and yeah we have the white oreo cookies like you can see and lemon oreo I don't know if you can find it there in USA or in other countries. Okay, this is a section of kids' clothes. And cereal, yeah, cereal usually is solid, like healthy, but it's not true. They still have stamps. And yes, the people that make that products just shut on use, making looks like they are healthy, but they are not healthy. We should not eat it like a breakfast every day that is not good for your health but anyway we're gonna buy some ones because i like to try it for example also the that ones that look super foods and so healthy is not true that excess of sugar and excess of calories so is not good for your health so don't trust on brands okay trust in the experts that tell you what you need to eat what is good for you but you can buy it just for enjoy but not usually you understand yes we buy this because in mexico it's very common that we can find products like this one you buy one and you have another one for free for example a liter of milk with this euro so we're gonna buy it because the promotion and for example look at that i'm gonna buy a piece of uh, a packet of black tea. I never tried it in my life, but I'm gonna buy it just for Shazulan. Yeah, Shazulan told me that he drink black tea before play Jury's Revenge, so I'm gonna 
بعيد يعني this is a big section of tia يا black tia let's see what happened but the most common uh, hot uh, drink in Mexico is the chocolate we use the chocolate to drink it like a hot drink but another very popular is the atole this is the product that we use it in many flavors to make atole that is very different I don't know maybe you can find there in USA don't know but the atole is strawberry vanilla uh, pecan nuts chocolate many many varieties of flavor of this brand maicena and we're gonna buy this one yes because just like it you use it milk hot milk with this and you have a hot drink that I love it so much but another common drink is the chocolate milk the products for chocolate milk usually uh, people say that it's healthy but it's not true it has excess of sugar and excess of calories but so it's not good for your health so the, the brands shed on you make it look like they are healthy and yellow yes a big section of yellow I love yellow but this is where I am Mexican but I don't look don't like the coffee because make me shake my hands but there are a lot of varieties of organic many brands and varieties of coffee we can find in Mexico because people I mean normal Mexicans love to drink too much coffee and also use these products but if I gonna drink coffee I don't gonna use coffee mate I love to use natural milk if I have natural milk why the hell I gonna use it and this is the brands that is the cheaper ones the cheaper ones the other ones were well, the expensive this is the cheaper ones coffee and the most and most of the cheaper co coffee was that finally the section of candies like you can see we have many varieties of candies in Mexico so what we're gonna find here in this store is just a small part of all the candies that we can find in Mexico for example this one is milk milk candies they are very common here in Mexico but still having two stamps so it's not healthy look at that two stamps this is a very common candy in Mexico de la Rosa I love it but it's not healthy and Aztec is another brand of the same Mazapan that is still not not healthy and remember tamarindo this is candy made it of tamarindo yeah I are like this one there are many candies of tamarindo in Mexico this is another one tamarindo one and tamarindo yeah many candies of tamarindo we love it so much but they are not healthy and mushrooms look at no no not mushroom sorry I want to say marshmallow look at that candies that was my favorite when I was a kid yeah the butter ones and we have many varieties of hard candies like you can see they are maybe Italian style have no idea but they have some raisins inside and coffee candies and yes this is the most common lollipop in Mexico made it of cajeta is like a milk candy and yes we can buy this in Mexico it's prohibited in USA but not in Mexico and kisses of Hershey's yeah many many varieties of kisses of Hershey's here in Mexico and every month or maybe every year we find more varieties of Hershey's that is very popular here in Mexico but like you can see they have three three stamps so it's not healthy you better to not eat it every day and Kinder look at the many varieties of that brand many varieties of products of that brand and another brand <laughs> but this is the most popular mm, chocolate candy for say something and the fine the special ones is Ferrero Rocher I like it so much but it's expensive but my favorite definitely is Raffaello it's like white Ferrero or something like that with coconut but this is the most popular brand of chocolate in Mexico you know candy chocolate this is the most popular brand in Mexico what can I say what can I say and Saladino they are gomitas very popular here in Mexico is like fruits with chili 
and that is the most popular gomitas in Mexico. And this one, another tamarindo one. Look at that. <laughs> Many candies of tamarindo. And yes, the drink section is very large, so I'm just gonna show you a look, so the video don't gonna be so long. But in Mexico, it's very common to make flavored water with powders. You know, like Kool-Aid, but we use these brands, like you can see. We have many varieties and flavors. And also, it is another drink in Mexico that is very common, like fruit flavored, and also Gatorade, they have two stamps, so Gatorade is not healthy. Don't trust on Gatorade. Like you can see, don't buy it, it's not healthy. <laughs> And uh, yeah, many varieties of soda water, many, many varieties, have no idea how to start. And yeah, peanuts, many varieties of peanuts we can find here, that if you can see there, it's not healthy. This is another example of products that has a promotion, you know, you buy one and you get one for free. Pistachios! I love pistachios! Yes, but expensive ones. And chips! Many varieties of chips, so I'm gonna show you just a fast look about the chips, uh, popcorn, and many fries, snacks that you can find in Mexico. There are many varieties. Also, pork skin fried. I love that pork skin fried. And also, uh, flour pork. I uh, don't know who to say. Chips, potato chips and corn chips like Doritos, you know, tortilla chips, I don't know how to say it more potato chips, more Cheetos and yes, this is the most common brands of products but Chayito love to make in the microwave yeah, the popcorn, and I like it too but it's still unhealthy like you can see Unfortunately, in Mexico, people drink too much the soda. I mean, we have many varieties of drinks that are soda, I don't know how to say it, with many sugar, and many people here get diabetes for that. So, this is just bad. Like you can see, Coca-Cola has two stamps and more information that say that is unhealthy, but for example, this product has no stamps. So that means that it's healthy and safe to eat. But this another one that is maybe the same product have one stamp. Look at that. So you have better uh, options to choose for your health here in Mexico. That is very important. And beers, Carta Blanca beers. Look at that. We had many varieties of beers. This is. It's one of the most common beers that we can find here in Mexico, for example, there is the Henneken, thanks for Tafus again, and Tecate, Tecate is very common here, and Sol beer, you know, they are the beers that you can find here in Mexico. I don't know what beers you can find in other places, but I don't know how to say it, but this is a section for gourmet products, I mean, expensive and fine products that yeah, they are gourmet, expensive, whatever, but still having that stamps of the Mexican government that tell you that you should not eat them too much or every day. Yeah, we have many varieties of olive oils, of, you know, I don't know who to say it. Olives, yes, olives that expensive here, pistachios are very expensive here in Mexico yeah, like you can see very very expensive and we go to the liquor section for that drunk boys like you can see in Mexico we have many varieties of brandies no, not really, we have only a few ones a few what varieties of brandies, a few varieties of vodka this is the most common brand of vodka, Oso Negro, and many varieties of tequila, that is very very common here in Mexico, like you can see we have many varieties, and also every year we see new brands, and for example they are coffee liqueur, this is very popular section here in Mexico, many liqueurs and wines, look at that, 
we are in the section of wines. We have many varieties of wines around the world. But for be honest, I don't drink too much the wine. I like it, but I don't buy too much. But many varieties. I don't know where to start. But the expensive liquors, or expensive tequilas, the special ones, are in a safe place. So you need to call to assistant to say, hey, give me please that bottle. Because you know they are more so expensive, so good for for the robbery, you know. You can just pick one and run out of the, of the store and maybe nobody <laughs> catch you. So that is why the expensive liquors are in in this section. Yeah. And my wife record me just watching that. <laughs> I mean, I am not alcoholic. I am, trust me, I am not alcoholic. But sometimes I like to, to do it in a special situations. For example, this is Buda Sanchez. This is not a drink. This you use it for tequila. And yes, we have many varieties of alcoholic drinks that you can see that are already mixed, you know, and the beers. This is one of my favorite beers because it's very leger. And this is another one. This is, this is a, maybe not the good ones, but they are beers, Mexican beers. And we find this that we never see it before. Look at that. And the Henneken, the Henneken is very present. And Dosik Slager was one of my favorite favorite beers ever yes and also Henneken yes but I said Henneken for special situations yes and because it's a bit more expensive than another brands like you can see we have many brands of beer this is the most weird beer that you can find here and but it's very strong Modelo is very popular too and the black Modelo is Modelo Negra it's very special to me. I like it so much, but I use it only in special situations. Yeah, and this is like the artisanal beers that you can see. We have a few artisanal beers. Victoria beer, big bottles of beer. Oh my God, we have money. Look at that. <laughs> my wife said no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to buy this one because I have a long time don't drinking it so I buy this one for that price but for be honest the most common beer in Mexico are this one the Corona but it's most common in bottles but we are finding here in cans and this one is very weird to me I, I like it and we find a mix up of Modelo beer here look at that and corona in bottles i need to be honest sausage in mexico are very very low quality the mexican government at first that they are very unhealthy and bad quality many times but this is just a fast look about these products that they are not good but they still popular here in mexico like you can see we had well the bacon is good but you can see they are stamps in the products that advert you that you don't need to eat it every day. So we had many varieties of chorizos, for example, these meat products. Okay, right now, right now, you, while you are watching there is a big section of milk made products. You can find milk, yogurt, cheeses, and many varieties of milk and also vegetable milks. In supermarkets, the cheeses are not so good quality. They are better to buy it, but some ones are good. For example, this one that I'm gonna say it is the best one. This one, this one, this brand, Navarro, Navarro cheese. That is the best cheese you can find in supermarkets and it's very good. But we have many varieties of cheeses, like you can see, many varieties, but most of them are like sauces. They are low quality and most of them are not milk made. But 
For me, the best sauces that you can find in Mexico is this brand, for be honest. The other ones are just garbage, dude. Really garbage. Uh, except these ones. These ones are good, but uh, they are expensive. And yeah, look at that. Italian products, pepperoni and jamón serrano. Look at that. They are Mexican ones. This product, I love it when I was kid. Cheese whiz and parmesan cheese. We not use it too much, but this is what we we find here. In every Mexican store, we find a bakery that you can see. And in the bakery, you can find pies, bread, sweet breads in many varieties. And sweet breads, like for example that ones. But also, you find candies. You know, candies you know, like homemade candies, I don't know how to spend it, they are not so industrialized candies and most of them are made it in fruits like guayaba, guavas fruit, for example, and tamarindos, like you can see we have many varieties and the popular alegrías that in the past people say that ah, it's healthy but not true, they have three stamps like you can see and yes, that is how we buy tortillas, just like that. They make it there, we buy it. And yes, maybe if you want, you can buy tortilla chips or this bread. This is the most common bread in Mexico. Look at that. We are in COVID time, so the bread is covered for make it a little bit safer, but usually it's not covered. And I'm just gonna show you the varieties of styles of sweet bread and cookies that we can find in the bakery in Mexico. I mean, in the supermarkets, in the Mexican supermarkets, like this one. And also, we can find cakes, like this one. Look at that, with many fruits. Yeah, many varieties of cakes. And these desserts, look at that. Oh, looks tasty, you know. It's attractive to eat them. <laughs> this not. This is just funny. <laughs> but this is what you find here. But supermarkets in Mexico has high quality of veggies. Many variety of veggies like you can see lettuce, onions, polo. I don't know many many plants that you use it in the kitchen. For example, rabanos, spinaches, cilantro. Uh, no, that is not cilantro. That is uh, that is cilantro. That is cilantro. The other one is another plant. And these Germans love to eat that, but I don't know who to say it in English. Lettuce. Look at that. Potatoes. Air potatoes. Another varieties of air potatoes. Carrots. Green beans. I mean green corn. And that green tomatoes that I love it to sauce it, that is the same like this small one. They are the same, just one are big, one are small, but taste the same. And yes, garlic. No, no, it's not garlic, it's celery, sorry. Broccoli. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English. And this, ah, this is not hot, but I love it. But this is the hot peppers, jalapeños, chile caloro, yeah, chile serrano. Chile húngaro is like la Hungarian pepper or something like that. Chile poblano that we use it for make many dishes that is very tasty. And the most hot ones, the chile cola de rata. And of course, chile manzano. This sometimes is hot, sometimes not so much. But we have many varieties, but the most hot, hottest chili or hot pepper is this one the habanero yeah the habanero is very very spicy and look at that many varieties of Ger germans i don't know how to say it mushrooms varieties of mushroom okay just take a look of what we can find here in mexico in this section this is high quality of plants products strawberries and a large variety Look at the I love this. And yes, that ones. That small fruits that I don't know how to say it in English, but I love it so much. Look at that. And Chayito, yes. She loved that fruit. 
Yeah, peach. Yeah. Very tasty. Kiwi. Pears. Yeah, in many another varieties of pears, the most common variety, and grapes. Look at that. Varieties of grapes. And coconuts. <laughs> yeah. And we have hot salsa in powder. If you want to buy some fruit, so you can put it. And well, I know this is a long video, but if you watch it to this part, I'm gonna tell you something. If you want that uh, I make a video about some product that you see here and explain to you how to use it or what it tastes, please say it in the comments. We are already gonna buy the products that we gonna buy here just like a normal normal store so thank you for watch this and i hope you you enjoyed this video and if you want to that i make a video about the product or something about mexico just say it in the comments and i will make it okay so thank you for watch and i see you in another video of kike matamitos